second grade and welcome to language arts class. We have kind of like another review today again. We are talking about nouns and verbs some more. Um, let's do some review here on the board. We have about dividing syllables. So when we divide words, we usually divide between the root word and the prefix and the suffix. So root word is like the main word and prefixes are added before the word, letters add before the word, and suffixes are added after the word. Okay, so here we have replay. Some words have prefixes in and suffixes, so we need to be careful when we look at them. So we have replay. Play is the root word, first find the root word. Play is the root word, and re would be a prefix, and ing is the suffix. Okay, here we have unload. Load is the root word, un is the prefix. Basement, we would divide between base and ment. Kindness, we would divide after kind. Apart is between the a and part. Delight is between light and de. Okay, also let's review the um, suffixes chart. And that is the one for adding suffixes to the end of root words. So we have number one. I'll just read them to you and I'll show them here so that you can kind of see them too. So number one is when a word ends with ch, sh, s, x, or z, we add es like churches, wishes, buses, foxes, and buzzes. Number two, when a word has a vowel set, or ends with two consonants, or the suffix is a consonant suffix, just add the suffix. And we have like team, um, we, we just add a suffix because it's a vowel set. We have jump, that word ends with two consonants, so we will just add the suffix. Or we have care, and we're adding L-E-S-S -S to the end of it. L-E-S-S -S is a suffix that begins with a consonant, so we will just add the, con the suffix to the end. Okay, number three, when a word ends with silent E, drop the E before adding a vowel suffix. So we have the word bake, and we are adding a vowel suffix, I-N-G, so we will drop the E before we add the suffix to the end. Okay, number four. When a word ends with a short vowel and one consonant, double the consonant before adding a vowel suffix. So we have the word run, and we will need to double that consonant before we add the suffix because it is a short vowel and one consonant. And we are adding a vowel suffix. Okay, number five says, when a word ends with a vowel and Y, just add the suffix. So we have the word key, and it ends with a vowel and a Y, so we will just add the suffix. Uh, number six says, when a word ends with a consonant and Y, change the Y to I before adding a suffix. So we have the word fry, and that word ends with a consonant and a Y, so we will need to change the Y to I before adding a suffix, as in fried. Okay, number seven, when a word ends with Y, keep the Y when adding the suffix ing. So we have the word fly, and we will need to keep the y before adding the suffix ing because the word ends with y. And it wouldn't make sense to put two i's beside each other, so that's why you would keep the y on those words when adding ing. Number eight says, when a word ends with silent e, keep the e when adding a consonant suffix. So we have the word safe, and we will keep the e because it's a silent e, and we're going to add a consonant suffix. So we keep the e on there, and we write safely. Number nine says, when a word ends with fe, change fe to ve and add s. And so we have the word knife and we need to change the, the F to V before we add ES. 
Number 10 says, when a word ends with F, change F to V and add ES. So we have the word leaf, and we need to change that letter F to V and add ES. And it will say leaves. Number 11, when a word ends with FF, just add S. Like cuff, it ends with FF, so we just add the letter S to the end. Okay, so now let's think about um, the words here on the board. We have root words here, and they want us to add suffixes to the end. So here we have rub, and we want to put an ed at the end, so we will need to double the consonant before we add the suffix, because it's a short vowel and one consonant. Here we have the word say. Um, it's a long vowel with a Y, so we will not change the suffix because it would not be good to put two I's beside each other. So we're going to keep the root word like it is, like say. Here we have lady, and we want to make it say ladies, so we will need to change the Y to I before we add ES, and it will look like that. Here we have the word keys, and here we have a vowel before the Y, and we're just adding a consonant, so we will just go like this, keys. And pavement is written like this, careful. It is a silent E at the end, but we're adding a consonant suffix, so you will just write it like it is. And, okay, so let's go up here to these. We have peaches, and peaches, we just add ES like that, part, and we will just add the suffix again like that. Sailing, we add a long vowel with one consonant, and we're adding a consonant suffix, or a vowel suffix, so we'll just add the suffix to the end. Neatly is just written like that, and gluing gluing. Okay. All right. Um, yeah. So that is adding suffixes to the end of root words, and. Now we will talk about main nouns. Let's think about main nouns. So nouns name people, places, and things, okay? And main nouns are the, like the noun that comes before the verb. It is main nouns. They tell who or what did the action in the sentence. So let's take a look at this sentence here. We had Clayton's mom planned a picnic at Mount Olive Christian School. Now this is what you're going to be doing in part A today. And so what you do first of all is look for your main noun. And main nouns come before the verbs and they tell who or what did the action in the sentence. So first of all, when you think about, okay, so who, um, who planned? Planned is your verb, so we'll just put planned over here in this blank. And then we'll find out, um, then we ask who or what planned. So who or what planned? Mom did. So we would underline mom. And then they also want you to underline all the other nouns and box the ownership nouns. Let's see if there's an ownership noun in this sentence. So we have Clayton's mom planned a picnic at Mount Olive Christian School. Do you still remember what ownership nouns are? So ownership nouns are um, nouns that like possess things and they're usually written with a um, apostrophe S. So we have Clayton's, that would be an ownership noun, so we put a box in on that. And let's look for any other nouns, and we're going to put two lines underneath any other nouns that you can find. Um, we have picnic here. Picnic, it tells what 
it names a thing. And also we have Mount Olive Christian School. And that is one whole noun because it names a place, like it names a building. And so we'll need to underline the whole thing two times because that underline that is one whole noun. Okay, um, yeah, so you'll be doing that in part A. And some sentences will have possessive nouns and some will not. Um, some will have more than one noun where you underline twice. And yes, yeah, so then you'll put the verb in the blank beside um, your sentence there. Okay, so um, let's think about let's think about dates now. So when we write dates, where would we put a comma? We have April 24th, 2020. That's what it is today. And so do you remember where we would put the comma? So we put the comma between the two numbers like that when, in dates. When we write dates, we put the comma between the two numbers. Okay, um, let's read you a few phonics cards that we have here. Do you still remember what makes the air sound? Um, A-R-R, -R, as in sparrow, can make the air sound. And also E-R, R in berry, can make the air sound. Okay, this is the aw sound. So we have A-U-G-H and O-U-G-H can make the aw sound, as in caught and thought. The sounds of O-U-G-H. O-U-G-H can make different sounds. It can make ow, as in bow, o, as in though, uff, as in rough, off, as in trough, and oo, as in through. Let's think about penmanship now a little bit. Um, you just have review again today. You have about joining cursive letters with arms. And so let's just do a few um, examples here on the board. Um, there again, when we write cursive, we usually try to write the whole word without lifting our pencil too much. It's good to try to see how, how, you, how long you can keep your pencil down and just slowly keep on going with the next letters. And the trick to writing cursive also is not to hold your pencil too tight. So try not to hold your pencil too tight. Relax your hand, but just let it go smoothly and carefully. Uh, so let's write the word bridge here on the board. And I'll just show you a little bit how. Bridge, and we want to kind of remember to keep your words at a slant. Don't forget your dot on top of the eye. So, yeah, I think this is what they call an arm. And so, don't forget your arm when you're writing the Bs, because if you forget that, then it, it, it will be an L. And, yeah, so be careful with those little things when you're writing the Bs. Also, the Ws get one. And, yeah, the Vs will. Vs get a little on to. Okay, uh, then also for, let's look at this other thing here on the board. This is abbreviations. Let's write the abbreviations. Friday is capital F, R, I, period. Sunday is capital S, U, N, period. Tuesday is capital U, E, S, period. Equal does April get an abbreviation? Yes, April does. It gets three letters. So we have capital A, P, R, period. November is capital N, O, D, period. 
December is capital D, E, C period. Mr. is, um, don't forget your capital letter, and capital R, capital M, R period. Mistress is capital M, R, S period. And doctor is capital D, R period, like that. Okay, um, yeah, I think we covered pretty much everything today. Um, your spelling, maybe we should just go over those words a little bit and your spelling. Let's read your spelling words. Um, so today you have blindness, wood, kindness, feet, basement, cloudless, quickly, truthful, lakes, hopeful, miles, watchful, Saturday, Christmas, and homes. And a lot of those have suffixes added at the end of them. Um, in your spelling section, you will divide those words into syllables. So you get practice on that. Um, one thing that helps you is if you look for the root word first, and then, then it's a little easier to find your suffix then. And you've had about suffixes before already, so I don't think it should be too difficult for you. Okay. Um, I'm going to let you go ahead with your lesson, and yeah, you have a good day.